A delicate operation is taking place. The dissection of an aphid to remove its digestive system. Professor Fukatsu is searching here for a very specific type of cell. You can see in the aphid body, there is a special cell called the bacteriocyte. And inside, there are so many uh, particles. They are all bacterial cells. And you can see how many bacteria within a single cell. That is very amazing. Each of these red dots is a living microorganism, autonomous with its own DNA, and which has found what it needs to feed and proliferate inside the aphid's intestinal cell. Invisible to the naked eye, this microbe, dubbed Buchnera, measures just three microns, three thousandths of a millimeter. In the aphid's intestine, there are between five and six million of them. Why so many bacteria within the cell, within the aphid body? The reason is this bacteria provides the aphid with essential nutrients called the essential amino acid. So if removing this bacteria by using antibiotic from the insect, the aphid sucks the plant juice, but they cannot grow because they cannot uh, synthesize proteins without this bacteria. So this uh, bacteria is really nutritionally very important. Without this bacteria, aphids would be unable to absorb the sap from plants and as a result, be unable to grow and develop. The aphid's relationship with the microbes is vital. Their association was established 100 million years ago, the age of dinosaur. And so these two organisms, aphid and the bufinera, are almost a single biological entity now. Scientists call this working relationship between the bacteria and its host symbiosis. And sometimes such collaboration can be extremely close.